Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Living Life on Purpose. Woo. And today we are driving down to Myrtle Beach. I almost said Pensacola. Oh, because we usually do go to Pensacola. <laughs> well, that's where we're going in a few weeks anyways. Yeah. So we're driving down to Myrtle Beach because our school actually gave us a snow day in May because they planned for snow days and we didn't get any snow. Which so was so disappointing. It was, but hey, at least we still get the day off. So we've got a long weekend. And we are going down to the beach kind of spontaneously because we didn't plan this until like a couple weeks ago. Yes. So anyways, we've been on the road for a few hours and everyone's happy. Liam, I don't know if you can tell, but he wanted like a granola bar and he picked out like basically a cookie. But he was so, he did so good for like three hours of driving that I couldn't tell him no. It, it brought it to the cashier and gave it to her to like scan. And we're on vacation, so like it's no. okay. Yeah. Anyways, so we've got about another hour or two and a half hours to go till we're there. Hopefully, Liam's gonna sleep for most of that, right? Sleep? Yes. Okay, so we'll see you guys when we get there. Beach, and we actually got here pretty late last night, like around 11.30, and so we went right to bed. I've woken up to watch the sunrise, and I'm actually about to go out, and I'm gonna go buy some stuff that we need for the beach. Um, it's just funny because there are only two types of people on vacation, and I'm the kind who's gonna like be up, making coffee, ready to watch the sunrise, and <laughs> it's just funny because Liam is still asleep. Like, I wake up earlier than my toddler son, and I don't think most parents work that way, but like, vacation Tim is just like, ready to go, like ready to have some fun. So I've actually made it back now from Walmart and Starbucks, and everyone's still asleep, and it's a great thing that we just have nothing to do today. I'd probably be impatient, but like, we're just at the beach, and so if I want to, like I can walk down to the beach by myself, and it'll still be great. But um, since they're asleep, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a room tour, obviously except for the room where they're sleeping in. All right, so this is like our living room area, and it's a pretty big space that's in here, and we've got an awesome balcony out here, and the reason that we got this hotel is because they have this awesome like toddler water park area down here like it's only a foot deep down there so um, it'll be super great for Liam and then we've got the view of the ocean over here so another reason why we got this room is because there's extra rooms in this hotel so we figured out back in London it doesn't work really great if we don't have like a living space and a bedroom that's separate from Liam so that he can be asleep while we're still like doing our thing out in the living area. So we've got this living room and there's actually a door here that goes to the kitchen and then there's another door that closes to the bedroom. So through here is the kitchen and here's my Walmart run. Everything is still on the floor. Actually I did put some things away. So here's our kitchen, here's our bathroom area and then through there is the other bedroom. So I love beach trips because they're so chill. We're just gonna sit and do nothing and it's gonna be great. Good morning, Liam and I are awake now and we're sitting outside eating our muffins and drinking coffee, it's so good. Liam is super desperate to go play out on like the toddler play area, so that's where we're gonna go first, and then we'll head down to the beach later today.
Abby are awake, I can show you the last room of our hotel. And of course it's a mess. Yeah, we have a nice, really big space and it's great. And now, Liam, where are we gonna go? Why? That's the right answer. That's true. At the beach, we're gonna go play at the beach. Shells. Liam's still like not super mm, sure about the water, but I think he'll get there. He's he's brave. He just needs to be shown a few times that it's okay and it's safe. So we finished up at the beach a few hours ago and we went back inside and grabbed some lunch and um, Liam got a nap and Abby tossed some glasses. And so now we're just like walking on the beach and in a few minutes we're gonna go find somewhere to eat. well actually one of them the kids didn't show up for it so I just sat there for 10 minutes and then didn't have to teach so we watched some Netflix and then I taught my second one which was really good it's nice being able to work and then come out to the beach for dinner we've come to this Mexican restaurant that is overlooking the water and it's super awesome he totally just tried some of this spicy chipotle and I didn't realize it but he seems fine. He's ready for Thailand. <laughs> Last night, we ended up running around on the beach after dinner, and it was so much fun. I think that may have been my favorite part of the whole trip, because we were just running around, had no plans, and it was fantastic. Anyways, we've come back out to the beach this morning, and it's the last day of our trip, and we've got muffins and coffee, and it's just, it's so nice. Like, taking a toddler to the beach is actually like such an easy trip. So if you've never traveled anywhere with your toddler, a beach trip is actually a pretty easy one to do. I hope that you guys liked that video. I would love if you guys would subscribe to our channel because in a few months, we're not gonna be living in the US anymore. We're gonna be moving over to Thailand and that's only like two months away now. So it's getting really close and all of our plans are underway. Super exciting time and we'll hope that you join us.